Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the full wrath of Jeremy. Unsleeved Media, MTG HQ. It's a little scary. So there was a level 2 judge named Manalik. He made a video. You can watch the video. The video suggests that perhaps we should attack Jeremy and get his accounts, including Twitter, Patreon, banned. And it was somewhat successful because they did take down the video with Christine in it. But now the tides have turned. And it is interesting from a neutral standpoint just how scary it would be in this community. So Jeremy has gotten the Mana Leaks report uh, name and DCI number. And now he's feeding, or he is giving feedback via the Magic Judge form. And he's asking his subscribers to also give feedback. The Mana Leaks name, address, phone number is all public now. His full name is public. And things are, have gone, gotten very bad for him. This is the MTG YouTube Wars. I have been a survivor of these for some time. And this is exactly what I would expect. There are no, there's no mercy here. And that is the one thing that I will say Jeremy, Jeremy will stand up for himself. And he will stand up for other people if he feels like they are wronged. He does love the magic community. And I knew as soon as the mana leak attacked him, he would face in his entire wrath. Everything, every, everything that Jeremy could do to the mana leak, he would do because that video was very upsetting. Now you might ask, when will this end? The answer is never. Will we ever be an MTG Finance channel again? Yes. Uh, if this video gets less than 2,000 views, I'll be an MTG Finance channel again. You have, that is my promise to you. So 2,000 views within the next 48 hours or less, and we'll go back to being MTG Finance. But it is quite scary. And imagine you're like a small content creator and you make a video, goes viral, Tolarian loves the video, Wedge loves the video, and you get a lot of support initially. But those people have abandoned the Mana League. He's by himself now. And that is exactly where everyone has to stand. You have to stand on your own principles, not what you believe other people believe in. You have to stand on your own principles. On You have to have very, very tough skin. And yes, it is scary when that phone call comes at 2 a.m. at night, threatening your life. But that is the internet. I wish I could say it was a better, a safe sp space, or it was better for, uh, it was human beings treating people as human beings, but it's not, and that's a reality. This is a warning to other content creators who may be against Jeremy or may be for Jeremy. Expect a full blowback, regardless of are you pro Jeremy or are you anti Jeremy. I find it fascinating. It's absolutely incredible the information the internet can get on people. So they doxed this guy, they found out his real name, and they, I believe he, they found out it via top 10 list and live streaming. He must have live streamed with someone, and then they had a picture of him, his face, and then they face matched, and they realized who it was because they already knew who he was a judge. All of these skeletons are coming out of the closet to play. All of them. Everyone's skeletons. And it's interesting. Do I agree with personal attacks on people's personal lives? No, I think that is below the belt. But at the same time, I can understand why. Because Jeremy has been attacked that way. Therefore, he will respond in kind. We don't live in a lovey-dovey environment. We live in an environment where everyone has knives and everyone's backstabbing each other. And that is what I wanted to clarify here. 
and partially why this is so intriguing to me. A lot of you ask, oh, why are we making so many drama videos? Because partially it is interesting to me. The same reason that I make Fire Emblem videos. It is interesting. Tomorrow we are going to hire someone. If she does a good job, she'll take over the channel. And I'll do MTG Finance videos and she'll do the regular casual videos. And you guys will love her if she gets hired. I know you guys will love her. I, she has a bubbly personality. Uh, my Sophie tells me that she is excellent and perfect for the MTG Lion channel. I love this game. I do not love what this game has become. Therefore, I want to, I want to add some positive stuff to the game, but I can't see positive anymore. I'm so down the road of MTG Finance. It's hard for me to be like, yeah. I know because I love Fire Emblem, and I don't treat Fire Emblem the same way, same way as I treat Magic. I do think the top community is toxic, and people are saying, "Oh well, you know, I I have good experiences in them." I my local game store, I'm going to call it by name because that gives power. DNA Comics lost its right for WPN. It lost its right to be a WPN store many moons ago. It has not held a single Magic game, a Magic tournament. It has not held a single Magic FNM. And you know what? People are happier. That's why I said it by name, because otherwise you guys would accuse me of making this up. But it's a real store where I live, and I've been at this store for four or five years now, and I can tell you people are happier. So when the magic community is in shambles, uh, the riff is bad. I mean, at the end of the day, I am afraid of the community, what the community has become. Do I believe we can recover? Yes. How, what is the solution in my opinion? The solution is quite easy. Weds, Tolarian, HQ gets on live stream. They work out their differences in private. So I guess not live stream, a private stream. That didn't sound correct, but okay. They talk to each other in private and they work out their issues. And then that's it. The community is the way it is. It's not because small YouTubers like me. We don't have much influence anyway. It's because of the big YouTubers are always attacking each other. And then the small YouTubers have to take sides, which most of them have already taken. And then we have a, the end result is a very divided community. Uh, do I agree with Jeremy every time? No, but I will defend his right to have his opinion and behave like he's behaving because this is Magic the Gathering community. This has always been the community. You cannot change the rules and guidelines to be lovey-dovey all of a sudden. It's always been savage. It's always been doxing. It's always been attacking per people's personal lives. It's always been that type of stuff. The longer you're in the community, the more you realize. I've been part of the community for a long, long time. I had another channel, New Law Student. I don't know if many of you remember that channel, but it was one of the first MTG Finance channels, on, if not the first MTG Finance channel on YouTube. MTG Line being the second, which is ironic. But when I left New Law Student, I wanted to I wanted to do something different. And I realized right now I'm not I just got right in back into drama. I just got pulled right back in. And I wanted to be a lion, right? That's why I would name lions and not sharks, although sharks made more sense for the MTG Finance channel. Because I wanted to be a positive impact for the community. And I don't I haven't done that. So but I do understand that this channel, a lot of you watch it. I'm hoping to hire someone full time to work on this channel. And yes, before you guys say ask, whoa, what? I have the money, I have the resources, and you will love this person should we hire her. Because she does love magic. I don't know if I feel that way right now. So anyway, let's, let's keep your fingers crossed, guys, and let's hopefully we hire her. Anyway, bye guys.